We've been playing Pixelmon since 2013, and we've never captured every legendary in one world. And now, there are 87 total legends and mythical Pixelmon to catch. That's not even counting Ultra Beasts. So in today's video, we're gonna try to change that. Our challenge is to catch every legendary in 100 days. This would normally be impossible given the time constraints, so to minimize our chance of failure, we're starting with Pokemon and loot designed to help us succeed. Plus, spawn rates being adjusted just enough to give us a fighting chance. Can we do this? <laughs> Let's find out. Jordan, go ahead and grab an orb because that is something we need to fill okay. up as soon as possible, okay. even though we don't have, you know, the crafting for it yet. Bro, I'm gonna level with you. There are so many legendaries that just naturally spawn that I think we get moving and grooving. You cool with that? Yes, exactly. And you also might be wondering, why do you guys start with an orb? It's because we're starting with the things that are absolutely necessary to be able to get this done in 100 days. Hey, I appreciate your restraint. <laughs> Dude, there are at least two different legendary Pokemon that specifically, Jordan, spawn in lava. I'm well equipped to capture them. Not from any armor that I have, mind you, just years of callus. You know what I mean? From falling in lava? Not from falling, from being shoved mercilessly in. That has not been proven in a court of law. Oh! Oh, Zashin, Zashin. We use the map to find Zashin immediately. Nick tries to capture it, but Zashin won't be caught without a fight. My two Pokemon that I will use to capture everything, man, is a Bisharp and a Shuckle. Oh yeah, they're not gonna take any damage. You get over here and you try catching this Druin, I'll go to a different biome, okay? We both started with two Pokemon to help us rapidly catch legends. Nick also has a Ditto, but technically that's just here to help us get the Pokemon Fion later. Exactly, we wanted one Pokemon to help us catch it and one Pokemon to tank hits while we threw Pokeballs. And I think we chose wonderfully. Especially my Shedinja with Wonder Guard. Yeah, Jordan, it'd be great if you could catch that soon because we're starting to, you know, get behind schedule. Can I be honest with you? I'm not very pleased about it. I'm scared. No, it died. You took down the Zacian? I didn't mean to. Well, no time to dwell on my failure because Verizian has appeared. You got this one, man, or do you want me to, uh, you know, redeem myself? Yeah, fail again? Yeah, I think, I think I'm gonna go after it, okay? Psycho Cut shouldn't take it down in one hit, but there's a chance it does. You win some, you lose some. Weedle's evolving. And that was my true goal. Jordan, we are failing. Oh, Verizian's back. <laughs> just like that. Are you just gonna hit it with another Psycho Cut and hope for No. <laughs> I'm considering burning the Verizian. I'm considering that as well, and I'm not even in the fight. I'm going to use my first timer ball. That's acceptable. One roll? Oh, Jordan, I only ever got one roll. Yes, it's a quick ball strat for sure. Cause I, um, where is it? Well, I do have a B drill now. Where is it though? Did it despawn as night hit, dude? Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Despite our abject failure up to this point, day one isn't over. Different legendaries spawn at nights. So we spend our time pushing forward. Jordan, I am so happy. I got repeat balls. I don't think I have to tell you how bad repeat balls are in this challenge. So now that it's day two, we're sick of this forest of failure. So we traverse to this desert in search of better luck. Oh, ground on spawn, Jordan. I don't see it on the map. I don't see it on the map either. Oh, Jordan, when did we miss this? Oh. That's a boss ground on, Jordan. Oh, ground on though. Like the real ground on, Jordan, is right here. <laughs> Jordan, it tried to use rest and it failed and then my hypnosis missed. I'm gonna use close combat because there's no way that takes it down. Well, Nick works on catching this dusty beast. I find Pokemon that can drop thunderstones. This is because we'll need a fire, water, and and Thunderstone for orbs that let us capture Kanto's legendary birds, which, spoiler, may or may not actually work. Wait, three? Four rolls, it was four, I caught it! Dude, Beedrill lived for like six turns in a row, by the way. Also, just to explain why Nick has Beedrill at all, since it's an alternate form, it might help us get the Galarian birds. It also might not, details later. Also, why are Groudon spawning like so much when we couldn't get anything to spawn overnight? Far too many Groudons later, we enter the Mesa as night falls, leading to... Oh, Marshadow is spawned in Badlands. That is near me. Here it is. It's spawned actually like right next to me. I did not really realize that. Do I hit with another Shadow Ball? I will, Jordan. Although I actually don't want to take this down for the reason being that I think it's a pretty rare spawn. I've never seen that spawn except for right now, dude. If I say anything, by the way, like that, and it's not true, whoops. <laughs> whoops, spreading misinformation on the internet again. It's going to faint if I don't catch it here. Three rolls? Three rolls for when I took it down. Ooh, oh, what, what? Nickel's another one. Turns out, Marshadow is not as rare as we thought. I poisoned it with Twin Needle, are you kidding me? I'm throwing a timer ball and that's just going to catch it. Guaranteed. That was a lie. That one wasn't the one for me to catch. 
There are other more shadows in the sea. Landorus. Jordan, I caught more shadow, by the way, in a quick ball. This one was the one, like actually. Where did Landorus spawn? In a Badlands biome that's also here. It must be, dude, the Dawn spawn. Yes, that's what it is. Yeah, you don't happen to see Landorus anywhere, do you? I do not, but it must be here somewhere. Well, another one just spawned, so. Uh, well, that's very useful. Another one just spawned. None of them are showing up on the map. You're telling me none of them are showing up for you at all? It's not counting like the Savannah weirdly. Oh, wait, or is this a thing that's supposed to spawn underground and it could be underground? Could they be up on top of one of the mountains that we didn't see? Landorus is not a small Pokemon. It should not be easy to miss. Landorus on map, over here, around the mountain. I will make sure not to take this down because this one is our only chance for, you know, quite a while until next dawn. Where is it? I'm like right over it in the map, but I don't see it. What is in the sky? <gasps> it might be a sky spawn and we weren't looking up. When I came up here, I wasn't looking up either. Oh. I bet it was flying. Oof. Jordan, it is day three, and we have got two legendary Pokemon. That is less than ideal. Yeah, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. This is going bad. Fortunately, Nick is able to craft a Moltres orb, and I find another Verizian. By the way, it says the orb is full, which makes no sense to me. Also, a new Verizian spawned for me to catch. Nick, it used takedown. Oh, it took itself down. It, it has takedown. Seriously? It has takedown. I didn't even think about that. That's evil. It's a monster. It's a terrible Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty much 1% HP. It's asleep. Four rolls I got, Verizian Jordan. We can get out of this forsaken place. Be gone, Verizian. Get away from my sight. Yeah, let's go elsewhere. Jordan, this is a beautiful area because I'm pretty sure Birch Forest can spawn like a lot of things. And then there's the jungle right here, which also can. Do you want to go after like Tapu Lele or like Koba Lion? I decided to go after everything because this location is incredible for rapidly catching legendaries. There's multiple forest areas, a jungle, a river, and more. This is a good area. I like this area. Verzian's slightly less evil brothers, Koba Lion and Terrakion appear. So we get to catching them. Post combat, I hope doesn't take it down it did well there's another cove lion that i can go after so i'll go for that this is my last timer ball it woke up and kicked glade i'm using false swipe again it's down to one hp it woke up and immediately used takedown after not using takedown forever what a vile creature <laughs> you have to catch yours jordan you have to nick dives into the river to find keldeo as i delve into madness did my game crash my game crashed my game crashed normally it takes more than four days for that to happen but hey here we are nicholas this sounded so fun on paper didn't it oh i'm having fun jordan this is my last little trip ball. We're gonna have to go get more Pokeballs. I, I have found a lot of items I could sell. Three rules. <laughs> four rolls, that was yes, four! Yes. I got Keldeo at least. We need this. The more legendaries we catch, the higher the chance my sanity survives. I'm struggling though. I'm gonna throw a repeat ball. I haven't thrown one of those. Maybe a repeat ball, just, maybe they're busted. They're really good maybe. While I break down, Nick finds Tapu Bulu in an unexpected location. He was in a cave down here. There is a cave and he was inside of it. The issue is that he does heal, Jordan. And then he used wood hammer. So he also has a move that can damage himself. This is pain, Jordan. And I've taken down Tapu Bulu. I'm going home and I'm selling stuff and I am buying Pokeballs. It happened. I have You caught I, it. I, I caught it. It's happening. I finally caught Cobalion as Nicholas purchases more Pokeballs. And then he returns to the jungle as dusk falls to find Tapu Lele. We are chilling out here. I'm not even worried about this one. This is the first one I'm not even remotely worried about. I'm starting to get worried though, Jordan. And I'm scared. No need to fear because I caught my own Tapu Lele. Overall, we have caught one, two, three, four, five, six Pokemon now, and it is day four. We're finally starting to get on track. It took us longer than I'd like, but we're warmed up and ready to rock. Next up on the chopping block, Tapu Coco. I see it on the map. It's right, but I see it in person too. It's massive. Dude, of course it has wild charge, dude. Oh, I did kind of forget that legendary Pokemon are really hard to catch. We're doing like the most stressful part of the game constantly. Yeah, it's true. Tapu Coco, you're making me sad. And you wouldn't want to see me sad. <laughs> While Nick was weeping, I captured Tapu Bulu. Come over here, Jordan, and catch the Tapu Coco, okay? Because I'm the greatest at that? Well, I am the greatest at that, indisputably, but mostly because Nick had to go get more Pokeballs. Ooh, they have Dusk Balls for sale now. Ooh, Heavy Balls are really, really good too. Do a Cobalion. <laughs> wow. Shut up, man. Zaru? Day. 
Oh, wait. wait, that I think is decently rare spawn. Where is that? I found it. It only spawns on top of the trees. Okay, I'm running up there. He has U-turn, scratch, fury swipes, and energy ball. That's not too bad for me. Even though Ditto is only an team to help us get Fionn from Manaphy, the transform tech is surprisingly useful at helping catch Pokemon, or at least making sure they don't have takedown or other nonsense moves. The bane of our existence. Ooh, Koba Lion in a forest biome. I am upset. Please stop. Please stop. <gasps> Verizian spawn. <laughs> Do you see how bad it feels? <laughs> After a little bit of trolling, Nick decides to give up on catching Zarude since, honestly, we just don't have enough Pokeballs right now. But as soon as we find another town, a Volcanion spawns right next to it! That's super fantastic. I have, like, no Pokeballs. That's why I was looking for a village, actually, so that I could steal everything. But this village doesn't seem to really have much of anything to steal. Maybe, just maybe I can catch it anyways. Of course, it does have takedown, though, Jordan, so I think that's really cool. Okay, you just take down right at the worst time. It's obvious that Nick is unprepared to capture Volcanion, but hey, if it's gonna keep spawning, he's gonna keep trying. It's how a parent's raised us. Whoa, this Volcanion that I'm going against doesn't have takedown. Jordan, it's so cool to have Ditto insta transform and then I know the moves of the Pokemon I'm trying to catch. It's actually kind of insanely cool. Oh, it's cool, all right. But you know what would be cooler? If I could finally catch Tapu Koko. Wait, are you still trying to catch the exact same Tapu Koko that I was trying to catch forever ago? No, it's a different one, but it is still a Tapu Koko. Oh, okay. Jordan, I, I gotta catch it. I just threw in my only Ultra Ball, but I threw it so far into the sky that I'd be... I don't think it rolled. I caught it! Oh, I caught Volcanion. Mindy, Mindy spawned and you got Volcanion. Dude, right I, right. that clap that I did, by the way, was like not even <laughs> intentional. It just happened. All right, good, good work, Nick. Human behavior. Jordan, Human be behavior. happy for me. I'm so that happy now for you. You don't have to catch that. It's true. I'm very impressed, actually, dude. Moving and grooving, dude. We can get her done. Yeah, we're, we're, we're doing some of that, yeah. Okay, we might not be grooving yet, but we're definitely moving. And since we're in desperate need of Pokeballs, Nick finds trainers to train against and earn money. Please give me lots of money for beating you. He gave me 12 Poke Dollars. Okay, no. Genesect is found in a Grove biome. What is what is a Grove biome, Jordan? Genesect doesn't have a move that will damage himself, so that's that's good. Three rolls with the Great Ball, man. Ah, oh, dude, three rolls with the Great Ball again. You've got to be joking. Drosh Jordan, find that because that is a very rare spawn. What if instead of Pokeballs, we get like a net? Dude, we need tranquilizers is what we need. Nicholas, it just keeps using Wish. It, it turns out that they specifically make legendaries annoying. I thought the hard part would be binding them. Yep, I that's, that's what I was thinking too, Jordan. And it will be when, you know, we can't find the same Pokemon. But now, uh... <sighs> So you're telling me we're gonna have the worst of all worlds. Yeah. I caught I caught Genesect. I'm not gonna lie, I I had given up. <laughs> As dusk fell on day eight, 300 Yveltals proceeded to spawn. Okay, what is happening? It's not in the sky, it's not on the map. Where is it? <laughs> Sorry, I got really bad hiccups right now. There's no time to stop for hiccups when you're hunting legends. That sounded cooler in my head. Yveltal has spawned in the tiger boy. Oh, I'm sure it has. <laughs> Although several thousand Yveltals apparently spawned, we can't find any of them. Worry not though, we will later. This is what happened with Landorus and it's gonna be what happens with Tornadus, Thunderous, and an Amorous. Nick is only a little bit right. Landorus, sure. Thunderous, though, and Amorous? Oh, we might be in a world of hurt. You'll see what I mean. So this Pokemon doesn't have anything to hurt itself. So I should be good to go. Wait, did I just... <laughs> I got a crit and I took it down, man. <laughs> There's a lot of pain right now, isn't there? Without pain, this wouldn't be a challenge. So Nick keeps finding ways to get Pokeballs while we await more legendary spawns. I'm gonna loot the castle over here. Hopefully get some Poke- Wait, never mind. This is the graveyard and I've already looted it. Again, you can keep some thoughts to yourself. Oh, well, Zamazenta. We have not caught Zamazenta. Zap Cannon, please paralyze it. Oh, we got it low, but it did paralyze it. Very nice. This fight goes all night. Meanwhile, I encounter and attempt to catch another legendary simultaneously. Three rolls. Wait a minute. Hold the phone, dog. Dude, if you catch Sasha before Zom I catch Zom Zenta, I'd be fine with it, by the way. I, I won't even be- I caught Zom Zenta! Yes, I, yeah, you couldn't even say the name. You're so excited. 
It would have been so cool if we had a dual capture right there. Oh, a double dog catch? <laughs> a double dog catch. Wait, Nick, you caught a Zamazenta, didn't you? Oh my goodness. You've been trying to catch a Zamazenta this entire time? Yes, I had already caught a Zamazenta. You're supposed to be catching a Zashin. I, I see Zashin. He's down there. You can go I'm grab I'm going him. to catch the Zashin, Jordan. What? I caught it with a heavy ball. The first heavy ball. I'm starting to feel hope in my bones again. And as I've spawned in the forest? Where, uh, is it near you? No, it's near me. Oh, It's over here. It's not even supposed to spawn in the forest, nor did it actually spawn in the forest. It's in the oat. It's in the water. It's in the oats. <laughs> Jordan, okay. It's all going well now. First quick ball, guaranteed catch. I'm telling you. Anyways, that was a complete lie. This thing's ego is way too big. It's an Azel. Oh, wait. Sweet Coon, I don't see it, but it should be near me. Yep, it's over there. Run to it. I want to see if I could see it. All right, I'm in battle with it. It's level 70. It's not there for me. That's wild. All right. Nick, I just captured Sweet Coon. You actually caught it. I left the battle and just started throwing normal Pokeballs at it. Okay, I'm going to do that because I, I have nine Pokeballs left. I mean, if if that's how it worked, Jordan, uh, for you, that's what I'm going to do. This has been nothing short of severe pain, but my hiccups are gone. They've been gone for 20 minutes. As the Azelf boss battle drags on and on, Nick leaves to fetch new Pokeballs and Pokemon while I keep fighting the good fight against Azelf. Mine has rest. No. This one has rest, Nick. I catch you with the first Prebeer Mall. Never mind. That was a Magikarp. I caught the Magikarp, so that's pretty cool, right? <laughs> <laughs> there's another Azelf if you want to. Actually, I don't want that Azelf. You know why? It's a boss Azelf. So not only is it overpowered, it's also impossible to catch. We're just being taunted at this point. Dude, why are there so many evil legendaries that I didn't realize were evil? I thought they were cute and kind. I'm going to a swamp. Nick leaves me with the task of capturing the monster. That's Azelf. Well, he goes to a swamp to clear his mind. Probably not his nose, though. Yep, that's a lot of ice near me, and it's actually low enough to the ground that I can get it. It has recovered, by the way. Is it normal for blood to fill your eyes, Nicholas? Excuse you? Is it normal, Nicholas? No, no, it's not. What do you mean, then why is it happening, Nicholas? Uh, I don't know. Oh, a Raikou. That's probably near me. I got Azov! I got Azov! I got Azov! I got Azov! I took it Azov! It was afraid of Raikou! Yay, good riddance! Wait, Latios, that's a new one! Yeah, it's because it's a different time of day. I took down Latios, by the no! way. No! Okay, get its brother, dude. Me catch dog? You catch bird. I'm back, Latios. <laughs> I have a good aim, at least. <laughs> yeah, you do. This thing has recover and heal pulse, so that's pretty cool. Is there an aura spawn? Wait, Jordan, I know Wait, for sure whoa, that whoa, that whoa. is a very rare spawn. Go for that one instead. I think it is right over here. I think I saw it. Yeah, I see it. I see it. I see it. It's right near Bulldor. Hope fills the air, and legends are breathing that air. More legendaries are spawning than we can even catch right now. After the pain of Azalf, I'm gonna be honest, we needed this breath of fresh air. Yeah, uh, Jordan, I have no more Pokeballs. Maybe the game knows when we run out of Pokeballs, and that's when it spawns all the legendaries. Wait a minute, I might be onto something. Can you come over and give me some Pokeballs? I am getting three rolls. Bro, that ain't nothing to shake a stick at. And I greatly enjoy finding a stick and then shaking it. It's what I often do. I cr- I- I cut into your name. Did it work? I forgot how words worked for a moment there. Wait, Nick, do we just have to become cranky old men to catch legendaries? I hope so. That's that's not too difficult. That's basically what we are. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's a right cool on my map. Wait, can I see if this works? I'm gonna right click and then hit tell. Oh, did you see that? You can right click teleport with your map. I will allow it because that is too cool and I want to do that. Jordan, I'll race you to who can catch Raikou first. I caught Raikou. First Ultra Ball, Jordan. You're kidding me. After all this suffering, we're finally starting to have some success. Wait, how many legendaries do we have? It's day 11. I've caught one, two, nine, ten. And I've caught five. So we're at 15. That's not bad. We're moving. We're moving. Wait, we're moving. We're moving. Don't get excited, Nick. Nick, shut up. Shut your mouth. We need to make more money though, like really badly. Latios, Latios time. Finding Latios is easy. Flying with Eternatus to get into a battle with it though. Uh, this looks impossible. I can snipe it, I think. I barely missed. This is my best chance right here. I'm in a battle with it. <laughs> Wait a minute. I just caught Latios in a Pokeball. A Pokeball, Jordan. Nick doesn't let all the success go to his head. He returns to his roots and takes everything he can from this town because we need Pokeballs in case a legendary spawns, such as a Spectre in a swamp biome. Nick wanders outside of the swamp and finds the dark horse. Spectre is the easiest horse to catch. Really easier than Ponita? No way. No way I caught it in a Pokeball. Did you? There's no way. I did. Ooh, also Paldean Wooper. I guess I'll catch that. That's a good thing to catch because Paldean Wooper is a legendary Pokemon. I, I even caught the Wooper. What is going on? I'm gonna catch combo of Pokemon, let's see. Can I catch the Corfish? 
No. <laughs> we spend the rest of the night looking for more legends. Unfortunately, we just find things that we've already caught or that might be glitched. Is your belt a bug? No, it's dark and flying. <laughs> <laughs> Victini! Wait, Jordan, I can now right click and look. It's a Victini. <laughs> Plunging move. Woo! <laughs> I have to do things like that or I will go wild. Finally caught Victini. Yo, good work, dude. And another one spawned. <laughs> well, that's the worst timing for it to spawn. <laughs> Nick barely escapes from the baby camels before an old foe shows his face. Oh, Terrakion. Jordan, we can finally complete the trio. Why don't I see Terrakion on the map? It might be a different elevation. That doesn't make... Oh, never mind. It is. It's above me. <laughs> oh, Jordan, I got it with a timer ball. The trio is finally completed. Shaman, 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 the Shaman. Wait, Jordan, I don't even think Shaman has that high of a catch rate, to be honest. Oh, I didn't notice that an Entei spawn. You're gonna get this one? Yeah, yeah, let me grab it. As I duke it out with Entei, Nick wishes for many, and it kind of works. I got diamonds. It is making me irrationally angry when I see something like Zacian spawn. Seeing nothing new, Nick suggests a plan. Jordan, I think it might be a good idea to go ahead and find like a snowy biome, icy biome, slushy biome. Ooh, slushies. Ooh. Ooh, that sounds good right now. So we make our way down to a frozen wasteland. But there's more here than meets the eye. Oh, redwoods should be over here. I'm gonna go over there, okay? Redwoods spawn very cool things. Kiram cannot spawn here, right? Or can It's one that ice spikes. The, the, the ice when it's formed into big spikes. Yeah, okay. You didn't have to explain that that well, but all right. That's where you get Kiram. From the ice spikes? Why are you repeating? I, <laughs> I found Obama snow. <laughs> Oh, glass tree. That's new. I see it. Where are you? Oh, hello, glass horse. I bet you're not actually made of glass. I bet you're made of made of ice. Back me up, Nick. Wahoo. All right. Never mind. Never back me up again. I don't know who I'm rooting for yet. What? What did it do? I used false swipe and it it's dead. It fainted from false swipe? What? Well, that's unfortunate. But another glass tree immediately spawned. Except it's a boss. And so we're unable to catch it. But I'm certain that Nick can defeat it. Dude, it's kind of funny how I can just use toxic on it now. And then I can use protect and minimize from Shedinja. And it just, I can take down like anything. I got an adamant orb. Jordan. Whoa. Jordan, Jordan, Jordan. You realize that we would have had to go to the end. I mean, we still will have to, to get the lustrous orb and the Grissius Orb. No, legit, the only way to find that dude was to go to End City. Well, it turns out we can get it from boss Pokemon as well. Genuinely one of the luckiest things we've ever been dropped in Pixelmon. Uh, but in other news, that's bad news. It died! Dude. Dude, dude, dude. It died! What are you doing? It gave me a carrot! Jordan, it doesn't have any moves that would make you take it down. Are you sure about that? I found another one, so I'm gonna try to get it. They're spawning like hotcakes right now, dude. Oh, it's using takedown, Nick. It's just not telling me that. Now that I've solved the mystery of the dying glass drears, I assure Nick that he can move on and look for other legends while I finish catching his silly horse. <laughs> so Jordan, you said I could trust you, but um, <laughs> it's it's going. been quite a while. It's almost can the next up? day. Hey, shut up. I got it. I got it. I got it. You 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 doubt me? You doubt me? Where did you where did you make yeah, it to, dude? I did doubt you. It took you forever, man. Okay, fair enough, but hey, I got it. Now I join Nick in the forest where we seek Reshiram. As well as different legendaries that spawn at different times throughout this forest. I know you're not having much luck, but I think legendaries will spawn faster now that we're both here. Oh, that was quick. What's with all the Reshiram spawning now, by the way? Also, I caught Reshiram, so we don't need more. When night fell, we expected to find Zekrom. We are instead surprised by the villainous Necrozma. Oh no, it's dying in a wall, it's dying in a wall. Quick, ditto. Ah, dude, I finally got it. I think we're gonna hold off on going to Ultra Space until the end, though. But it feels like we're going to actually be able to do it, Jordan. There was another reason to go to Ultra Space besides getting Ultra Beast, right? Oh yeah, to craft something. Was it for Meltan? Deep Sea Concrete or Stone. It's for the Zygarde Cube. I forgot about Zygarde! Yeah. Let's actually go ahead and do that, then. Wormhole activate. Why would it be up there? Doesn't this look a little bit different? Whoa, this looks funky, and I can't see anything. Dude, this is like obsidian. This is the worst. Wait, Cosmox spawns here, too? So there's some crazy stuff here, Jordan. Another thing that's really important that I just learned is, um, I couldn't mine the stone with the netherite pickaxe. It didn't, it didn't work. I'm gonna be honest, by the end of this 100 days, getting Zygarde's gonna be one difficult of many. In the meantime, there's a lot to do in Ultra Space, though. Yo, Nick, a couple things. First off, just found a beast ball loot, which I'm gonna grab and see what it is. And Ooh, this is very the- nice. I got a stone plate. Yes! And we will need all of these plates to get Arceus. Yeah, that's the thing. This place is the best for getting plates. Uh, Nicholas? Yes? Try to battle Electabuzz and see what happens. Wait a minute. They had horde battles? 
<gasps> they did! What is going on here? That's so cool. There are so many things for us to discover here in Ultra Space. <laughs> this Clang is level 84. Our priority though is catching legendaries. And so we find Cosmog, the one that's been spawning ever since we entered this dimension. It's level 15. Oh, I can catch this. Wait, this is a boss Cosmog that I found. As soon as I began to battle Cosmog though, it vanished. I bet it teleported. Oh no, Jordan, even the boss teleported. Dude. Okay, so throw Pokeballs at it outside of battle, okay? I found it, I found the one you found. Okay, that was why we haven't been able to find it, dude. It keeps blipping away. I got it, dude. It doesn't even have a high catch rate, or a low catch rate, I should say. Hey, yo, I see another Cosmog. We ought to catch it, by the way. Nick was already way ahead of me. The reason we need two Cosmogs is to get both Solgaleo and Lunala. How lucky did I get with that first Pokeball? I'm starting to get nervous that it actually does have a low catch rate. Hey, I got it. You got one? Okay, Ooh. cool. We still must train and evolve our Cosmogs. We can do that work in the background as we keep catching legends. While we're here, though, we're going to take advantage of Ultra Space and get all of the Arceus plates. Unless we get distracted by crazy stuff like, I don't know, Evil Yamper. <laughs> it's Evil Yamper. Evil Yamper. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jordan, can you go ahead and teleport to me? On me way. I know oh, I oh, said we oh, want to do ultra, you know, but, at the end, but like, I kind of want to battle this. Zerka tree, use shockwave on Groudon. <laughs> Noise. Hey, also, dude, I used double kick, which means that I knocked out two of those shield things. <laughs> if I had fury swipes, dude, we'd be, I mean, it would be dead at this point. He keeps only attacking Groudon. That's because, dude, you're the biggest target and he's seeing red. That's because there's no visible brain. I don't think he has one. I'm sorry that all I can do is double kick. Are we going to lose this? We won the battle. We also lost because the den is glitched, so we can't even try to catch Zerka Tree. That's unfortunate. Do we get anything super cool? XP Candy XL? That'll be good, at least. Pokaloo time. Come on, give me a plate. Fine. Ugh, dude, I don't want the Z moves. The Z moves don't help us at all. For years, we were like, I don't want a Z move. I don't want it. And then finally, we are like, we hate Z moves. I'm not afraid to say it. Ooh, I got the Dread Plate. Me when Jordan cooks me a meal. <laughs> the Dread Plate. <laughs> Hey. I found a different biome. Jordan, we have been in ultra space for so long, did not realize that there were other biomes. Jordan, I just got a splash plate. I think we have all the blue plates. Ooh, fist plate. Kind of nice to have a break from catching legendaries though. I'm kind of enjoying floating around, taking plates off of the earth. Dude, I didn't want to be the first one to say it, but just floating around is really fun. <laughs> kind of nice. Iron plate. I've got like all of the gray plates too now. Oh cool, I got a meadow plate. Flame plate dude earth plate yes actually that is one we needed i'm past the point of having fun looking for plates and i'm starting to get nervous about not catching legendaries icicle plate yo wait we need that one <laughs> yeah it's the first one that i found in quite a while now can we take this gravity home with us it's actually kind of a lack of gravity jordan can we delete gravity at home i hadn't even thought of that if we make the earth smaller yes how hard is that pretty hard is it legal probably not i got another i've got four Spooky plates. <laughs> I got another spooky plate. Zap plate, zap plate, zap plate. What? What? Lunala has spawned? Unfortunately, since it spawned in a den, we will be unable to capture it. So we're going to be ignoring it, but I liked how it showed up. I thought that was cool. So bro, how's your- uh... <gasps> Draco plate, Draco plate. Hey yeah. Earth plate, dread plate. Jordan, we only need insect plate. Jordan, all we need is insect plate. I'd greatly appreciate it if you stop opening other kinds of plates. No, I need the spooky plate. There's no way you're beating my collection. I definitely am. Give me one sec. I have five spooky plates. I have five spooky plates. <laughs> oh, oh, so we're in a spooky race, I see. Yes, whoever gets the next one wins. But what do we win? Dignity. Wait, no, that, that can't be right. <laughs> Jordan, have you found the spooky plate? I am going to on dish. <gasps> oh, insect plate. Dude, that's the last one. Is there anything else we have to get here before we head out? Um, No, we, we should be all good. Although I will say I, I, I kind of do want to find a spooky plate, but I think that would be unwise. I kind of don't want to. Oh, hey, buddy, I'm not home. Ow. Well, I'm going to I'm going to force you please to, don't, Jordan. Please don't. I want to keep getting things. <laughs> ah, save me. Hello, Jordan. Where's your battle? <laughs> now that we're back to our home dimension, we get to organizing and selling all the spoils of spice. Your Veltal spawned. <laughs> I haven't got a legendary Pokemon in what feels like absolute ages. All right, Jordan, I'm going to go ahead and grab the mystery box. Since I'm going to be evolving a Pokemon anyways, I figure why not get another Pokemon to evolve? What is with this item? Whoa, this item is jank. It is the buggiest item I've seen in Pixelmon in quite a while, but Jordan, oh, wow. you feed it netherite scrap. And look, what, the, the box? Okay, this is really cool though. 
Is this going to work? Oh, yep, there's oh, a Meltan oh, right there. Oh, there's two Meltans. Wait. Oh, yo. Oh. Wait, there's three Meltans. Ah, George, ah, I think it's called a Meltan for every single netherite ingot I fed the box. Just like Nick fed the mystery box. Once we catch a Meltan, we actually have to feed it too if we want it to evolve. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You feed it a bunch of iron, Jordan. Not only do we need iron for Meltan, we actually need a plethora of other minerals to craft equipment to get other legendaries. For example, the cloning machine to get Mewtwo. Yeah, well, I just got some aluminum, Jordan. Is it still spawning Meltans, by the way? What is going on here? <laughs> we have to take them down now. Little Meltan, don't look at this. I'll name you so that you're different and special. <laughs> it's a little bit messed up, but like, you know. So Jordan, let's go get some redstone. Let's go get some iron and let's get some Reggie. The Reggie legendaries spawn in caves. So while mining, we can also catch some legends. Before we get way back in the mines, though, we find some cool stuff. Ooh. Jordan, I opened up a random lucky block, and I got the hero's axe and pickaxe. So uh, mining just got a little bit quicker. Hey, Jordan, I found a nature deer. I just got DNA splicers from Young Goose. That item just helps cure him change forms. Doesn't really help us find him, though. Still neat. You know what's also neat? Catching Xerneas before you even get underground. Oh, I found the deep dark even. Ooh, spooky. Diancy, that's hey. another underground spawn actually, Jordan. So it's down here somewhere. Yeah, the only issue is where is it down here? Diancy, Diancy. Uh, I believe I'm either above or below the Diancy. It's kind of impossible to know. Oh, I found, uh, no, it's a carbuncle. Oh, dude, look at it though. Doesn't it like remind you of it? Why is there a lady down here? Did you say, why is there a lady? It's just, it's just a lady. They're allowed to be down here too. Well, I see two Diancies on the map still. Yeah, like right next to each other. Uh-huh, yeah, likewise. So I'm just mining down from where that was and I hope that I don't hit bedrock. I hope that I, I hit found a one. Hey, let's go, dude! It's level eighty. I'm just gonna look around for any more that are spawning. This is absurd, dude. Hey, Pokemon are definitely hard to find. But this was fun. This was actually fun to find. It wasn't too difficult. It's what it should be to find a cave legendary. Looking into a cave is like looking into a cave. I caught Diancy. What is up with that, man? <laughs> I hate Azul. While I was on the surface looking for the next cave, I ended up finding obsidian. So I called my bro up from the mines to mine. Dude, look how fast I can get obsidian. This is insane. Now that we have more minerals than we could ever dream of, we come back home, cook the iron, and get ready for mel metal. I'm telling you, Jordan, even with all these Yveltal spawning, I think it's all a lie. It's gonna be a level seven mel metal. You gotta grow big and strong. <laughs> this is very interesting. It looks like you're just trying to pet the meltan until it evolves. Do you think he's getting too much iron in his diet? Wait, why didn't it work? We may have been just like a couple iron short. I think we need one more iron ingot. Nope. What if it's counting the iron as one and not nine? Like it's bugged and and it's I it, it's supposed to count it as nine. Uh, so it might be glitched, dude. It says that he has two hundred and seven little iron nuggets, though. We need double that. Well, Jaren, you officially have enough iron, correct? I should. Okay, so it's at two hundred seven right now. Let me give it one. It says two sixteen. So that's nine. Maybe if you click too fast, it bugs out. Yeah, if I click too fast, I think it bugs. Do it slowly, dude. <laughs> Meltan is satiated and ready to evolve. Do you have to level him up? Yeah, do you have a rare candy? Dude, he's level seven. Just go into battle, man. No, no, here, I have a extra small candy. There we go, he's <laughs> going up. He's level 10 now, great. <laughs> okay, that's a big level 10 Mel Metal, Jordan. That's all I'm saying. Wait, Jordan, 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 crouch behind him. Hello. It's kind of weird to be looking through the dude's belly button. <laughs> what is my necrozma holding? I have an end solarizer, dude. Oh, I have an end lunarizer. Whoa! That's so cool. So Jordan, I'll go for Lunala. You'll go for Sogalio. With that settled, we head to the desert to find a cave, not only for the stellar training that provides, but also to find the next Reggie. This boss trap inch gave me nothing. How has this happened to me twice now? Also Desert Temple, which hey believe it or not, Jorn can give us something we very much need, a GS ball. Oh, yo. Because we need that for Celebi. It is possible to get, but it's not here. It's random and that's tragic. So we hide our tears underground while looking for the next Reggie. And now Cosmog is evolving. <gasps> Reggie seal. It looks to be like right next to me. It's gotta be like right here. Here, right? Come on. It's off my map when I go here though. So maybe it was up more? Like we're in the right spot. It's saying it's spawning. I don't know what's happening. You start digging down. I'll start digging up. Goodbye, brother. I don't think, Nick, that it can spawn now that we are past the morning hours. I want it. Wait, whoa, whoa, what? It's still spawning. Wait, another one spawned? During I daytime. It was just Wait, morning. That's what I wrote, but I guess daytime too. All right, let's rock with it. I see it. What? I just Jordan? Guess the level of the Registeel. No, 70, right? Nope. A hundred? Yeah! 
<laughs> what? I don't think Registeel actually has a high catch rate. I'll be completely honest, Jordan. But it is level 100. Oh, but uh, <laughs> it's my level 100 now. Steel. It's kind of nice to have an achievement. A lot of them don't have specific achievements. Registeel? What? And I bet he's right down there, right? Why would you hit me? I was about to jump down on my own. Yes, but you were afraid, so I had to encourage you. Oh yeah, this is where we will get Regirock. Wait, this Registeel is only level 50. Whoa. The lower you are does affect the level of legendaries as well. Regirock! Where though? Well, there's another one too, Jordan. We need like 10 of them to spawn so that we can find one. <laughs> yeah, I know, dude. I mined into an Amethyst Geode. Where Regirock is! What? Your kid? Wait, really? Yeah, he spawned in an Amethyst Geode. That's so cool. Well, Jordan, I think it's late enough that I can use the Dusk Ball. Also, you're in a cave. And I'm in a cave. That's more it. Yo, and yo, dude. Rock. Very nice. I want to get ice. To get reg ice, we head to a frozen cave. So right now we're looking for reg ice. And in my head, once we get the three of them, that's when we can get Regigigas, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not it though. Apparently Regigigas dude just spawns like this, but under savannas. Why you say it like that? Say what like what? Savannas. Oh, I found the cave. We're going to get reg ice in, Jordan. Hey, my Cosmog's evolving. I can tell based on all the beams that are destroying my eyeballs. You want to fight real quick, Jordan? Get me a Lunala. Max guard. You disgusting human being. It's the only move I have. Get out there, Glastriere. Hit him with a taunt. Oh, I taunted. I'm gonna punch you even harder now. You're gonna combat even closer. You know what's funny is it's hard to tell whether or not you're trying or not trying. <laughs> Cosmo, I'm leveled up. I just need to win now. Can I just forfeit? I don't know, so don't. Okay, I'll use iron defense. I need to win quickly. Well, then kill me. Come on. I'm trying. Hey. You're using moonlight. Did I actually? Yes, you've used it multiple times. <laughs> I think it's a glitch. It's not a glitch. I think it was glitch. You're a bad person. Dude, I'm gonna be so tilted Dude, if it's, it's so good. No, no, it's Dude. still nighttime. Wait. It's still nighttime. Why did it evolve so quickly? They just evolved fast now, I think. <gasps> Break Break ice. Ice. Where, 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 where? You stay up at this elevation. I will jump down and see if it... Oh, it showed up over here now. Oh, this, this room is completely water. Oh, Jordan. What? Did the reg ice melt? <laughs> we need to find the cave where it is. It should be around here. Oh, wait, I may have dug into it. Hey, it, it was dying in a wall, but I got into a battle with it. It's level 92. Wish me luck. Good luck, my boy. All the pokeballs have been rolling, but I'm sure the dusk ball is the one that will work, please. Please. Cave Pokemon. I think it will. Cave Pokemon, come it's kind of broken. On, on, it's dude. broken. Nice, dude. Good work, Nick. Dude, we get the Regigigas, and then we have all the Regis except for the stupid ones. What do you mean? The new ones are cool, though. They're just difficult. Oh, there's a dungeon here. We can get, I think, orbs here. <gasps> Clear Bell! Clear Bell! Clear yo, Bell! Yo, 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 that is yo. something that we needed for Ho-Oh, oh, and we yeah. also need one for Lugia. Title we bell. need the Title, title Bell. bell. Yeah, Dude, this yeah, is yeah. fantastic. Dude. Dude, at any time right as dawn hits, there's a chance that the bell will ring and Lugia or ho -Oh will spawn depending on the bell. Honestly, Jordan, growing up is realizing that it's pronounced Groudon, not ground on. Oh wait, Jordan, we might be able to get the title bell from one of the chests in here, I think. You know what we're gonna get again, by the way? A level 100 Pidgey that was in the wall down here? No, that's an unexpected. We're gonna get another clear bell. That's what we're gonna get. Yeah, I caught a Pidgey level 100. What, what, what do I do with a Pidgey level 100? Oh, another dungeon, Jordan. Hey, oh, oh, come on. There's a Comet Shard, which I don't especially care about. And then, ba 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 Sharp beak. Since our Savannah expedition is filled with disappointment, Nick returns home to try to lure out the legendary rainbow bird. Ooh, I like how the clear bell looks here. I'll be battling right at home for this ho -oh. Well, Jordan, there was no ho -oh. There's, There's nothing at all. I was, I was hoping, but nope, not at all. Do you know if the Reggie dude has to spawn in a non-man-made cave? Just look for a cave, okay, man? I, I just found one, I think. I did. It's a great cave, Jordan. You'll love it. Cosmo is evolving, dog. Oh, you're getting a Lunala. No, 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 no. You're getting a Solgaleo. Fantastic. Whew. Now I'm riding on a giant metal lion. Look at this. It's a giant metal lion. Did you just actually try to light my metal lion on fire? It's weak to lava. So Jordan, in uh, 10 in-game minutes, so closer to like 10 seconds, yeah, yeah, we yeah. will potentially have a ho-ho. Oh, yes, it's doing did it. Did it. it work? Yo, it's yo, doing no it. Way. It's, no it way, looks dude. really cool. Where, oh. Where's Ho-Ho? I think ho is going to attack me out of nowhere is how it works. This bell is just like freaking out, Jordan. <laughs> I don't I don't know if I need to do anything. Do I, 
Do I punch it? I probably don't punch it. Okay, yeah, it spawns when the day reaches dusk. Oh, ho, ho! Came out of nowhere, Jordan, and just... I'm in battle with it. And I've gotten ho, ho, Jordan! Woo! a boy, dude! That wasn't too painful. Do you want to know what I haven't found? No Regigigas. I am no Regigigas, starting dude. to get suspicious, Jordan. Jordan, I need you to teleport once you can. Did you place this? This wasn't just here. As much as I wish I could say I did, I don't know. If, if it was me, it was as though a fever dream were occurring. No comment? Delete Victini. But we need it. Release it so that we need it again. Never thought about doing that. And then we can be excited when it spawns. I think we gotta come back for Regigigas. Uh, my sanity is fleeting. All right, where do Kirim spawn? I wanna find a Kirim. Ice spikes. Let's go. Jordan Kirim spawns in the afternoon in the ice spikes. So uh, soon. Right, uh, right there, right, right there. Very soon. <laughs> you know what? You haven't caught a Pokemon in ages. You catch this one. I'll try to catch another one. Hey, I caught mine finally. Are you, uh, well, what are you talking about? But I wanted it. You still haven't caught yours? I'm working on it. After Nick successfully captured Kirim, we move along to get Zekrom. But while waiting for it to spawn, something shocking happens. You, you Yavel. Yaveltal. Yaveltal! Did you find it? Wait, what? Yes! I actually found it! It wait, is in the wait, sky, wait, 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 actually. What, 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 what? This is the first one I've ever seen at all. Where did it go? There it is. Because flying in Pokemon is illegally bad. You are ruining my life! Dude! Oh, I got in battle with it. <laughs> you kept you kept ruining my plans. Jordan, I don't know what happened, but Yveltal used Disable, and now I only can use Struggle with Eternatus? But Jordan, I'm, I'm guaranteeing, I'm guaranteeing a timer ball works here, right? Probably. Woohoo! Dude, the Yveltal of Destiny? Because that thing Bro. potentially spawned a billion times and we never found it. Catching Yveltal gives me hope that we can catch other elusive legendaries too. Doesn't give me much hope for Regigigas and no, 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 Zekrom and... Zekrom! That was like instant, so maybe it's only dust. Catch the other one, Nick. I'll catch this one. Easy. Well, I kind of want that one. Though. Well, no, you go find the other one now. But I wanted that one. It looks like I'm battling you with the view I have right now. <laughs> really? <gasps> Wait, why are they all spawning now? What, what What changed? Tell me the answer, Nick. I have no answer. I like that my strategy, Nick, is a shuckle that uses double team for a while. <laughs> and then... Can't be it, but it's a shuckle. It's kind of sad, Jordan. Hey, I caught Zekrom, by the way. Oh, wait, Kirim comes with the DNA splicer. So I didn't even need it when I got it? Let me pop him out and I just go like, wow. Oh, oh, and then I can press it again to crash the game. I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna crash the game again. Oh, I did! <laughs> What's wrong with you, dude? Well, dude, mission accomplished. What's next? Next up, we return to the jungle to get Zarude. Nick also gets Elytra. I see him. He's right up here. I didn't even look at my map for once. This thing has some annoying moves like uh, Bind, Swagger, and mainly Synthesis. And then it has Scratch. With those crazy moves, this thing's hard to catch. Nick runs low on Pokeballs, so I try to make a mid-fight delivery. Maybe don't throw him past me. Like, you oh. threw everything past me, you know? <laughs> Why is the tree so slippy, Slidey? I don't know how to play Minecraft. Oh, I caught it with my own grape. Pulse, so now I just have a bunch of new Pokeballs. That's great. <gasps> Coco Tapu! He behind me somewhere. Hit him high and I'll hit him low. At what point could you climb vines by just holding spacebar? You haven't always been able to do that. Have you not? I've not. Wait, where did it go? Okay, it's gotta be underground. I found a Trico. That's so good. And under the Trico and a tree is the top of Coco. I need to get in a battle with it before it dies. While Nick finally catches Coco, I try to find a bamboo forest so we can get Cubfu. Well, there's a bunch of bamboo around me. It's not a bamboo forest though, but there's more bamboo. Well, we need bamboo forest, Jordan. Well, There's not enough bamboo here for any sort of panda to have a good time. Well, maybe you're right, actually. Come on, Tapu Coco. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> yo, yo, what? Anyways, I, I don't find enough bamboo. But before we leave the area... Do we have Finny? Wait, we need that, right? I think Tapu Finny is jungle surface water. So it would be on the edge of the water here where I am. Unfortunately, I don't seem to see it. Yeah, there's a lot of water here oh, in this wow, jungle. Yeah. So this is going to be a good area. Oh, Tapu Finny! Oh, I see it on map. It is this oh, way. Too. It yeah. should be in a pool of water. And yes, I have found oh. a pool of water. That's lovely. It looks pretty cool there, not gonna lie. Get out of the battle. I don't <laughs> trust you, Jordan. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's very... It can take a slash, right, from level 62. I'll use false swipe. Look, it doesn't do anything. You have false swipe! Use false swipe! I did, but it only does 10 damage. I don't care! Wait, three rolls isn't bad. Hey, you hey got it! 
You would have slashed that thing until it fainted if I didn't stop you. Oh, it's the full moon, Jordan. We could actually go for Cresselia in a tall birch forest. So Cresselia can spawn here during a full moon only. And Darkrai will spawn over at the Roofed Forest, I believe, or Dark Forest, whatever it is, only during a new moon. Look at how full that moon is. You're telling me it's possible that Cresselia doesn't spawn? What answer do you want? That is impossible. Yeah, that's the answer that I'd love to give you, but is it true? I don't know. Yeah, moon Pokemon are weird. The biome we're waiting in is useful, though, since it surrounds a lake where Mesprit could spawn. Oh, wow, this is a nice lake. Jimmy! Where's my croissant? <laughs> That's the stupidest thing you've ever said. Jimmy. You're such a normie. <laughs> I'm gonna catch my croissant. It's sunrise, Nick. No. Hey, find an ocean, Jordan. Hurry, find an ocean. Try the lake. <laughs> it's not an ocean. Let me let me look real quick. Manaphy is at lukewarm and warm ocean. We're in the cold ocean. Well, you know what we must do. <laughs> what? Oh, no. <laughs> I don't know. It feels pretty warm where I am. Inexplicably, we don't find Manaphy, so we just return to the forest. Hey, Jordan, do you want a scope lens so that you could use slash and get more crits with your Bisharp and take down legendary Pokemon you're trying to catch? I'd love to. However, I found a shiny Voltorb. No, you didn't. I just caught it. Let's see if I get the achievement. Yeah, dude. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, man. Are you the one near the Zarnius? Yeah. Yuxi, oh, Yuxi, 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 Yuxi. I think it's near the uh, Zarnius. Yes, there it is. I struggle with this as much as I struggle <laughs> with Azelf, Jordan. I may or may not quit. Combust spontaneously. Ah! What? I caught what? it. What? 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 I got it. Azelf is evil. Azelf is evil. Azelf is evil. What do you think of my Voltorb? You. you killed it! It actually fainted! It wasn't me. It just lost a fight. Maybe it should be stronger. Eternatus is so strong. Oh, I got a lustrous orb! Yo, from from what? From a boss Suicune! I got Palkia and Dialga. All we need is the Grissius orb now. Next, we head back underground looking for Regigigas, but with the unceasing thought in the back of our minds that something is wrong. Buy a car code level 100. Was it level 100? Yep. <laughs> Unable to find Regigigas in time? We wander back to the dark forest to get Darkrai. It's the new moon. Is it really a new moon or is it the, the same moon? Well, right now it says waning crescent. I think we're here a day early, actually. I like, Nick, that we keep changing what we're looking for so often that I don't even know where I am or who I am. Or what we're looking for. <laughs> or what we're looking for. Oh yeah, we're looking for something. Yeah, I'm a level with you. It's even hard to keep track of while editing. Tonight we head back to the forest, though, because there's a new moon. Now that's a new moon. Jordan, I noticed a Litwick spawned, which I feel like might be a new moon Pokemon as well, because I have not Ooh. seen it at any point. Also, Jordan, I have a, a small theory dark hey, oh, hey. is Where? It's near me. TP if you want. You, you told me TP to you because you saw it. Well, it's I, on my map. It's, I don't it's actually on, see it. I see it dying in the wall. There's a decent chance that I don't make it in time. I got it. Its moves are disgustingly bad. But my theory is, Jordan, that as we get more and more Pokemon caught, it becomes easier to catch new Pokemon because that is how it is in some Pokemon games. Ah. And I think that's how it is in Pixmon as well, actually. Oh! I got a critical capture! Yo, yo, what? We haven't got Dude, one of those that's yet. that's the thing. I'm pretty sure you only can get a critical capture when you've caught a certain amount of Pokemon. Wait, is that true, actually? Yeah, I think that is how it works. So I think that's why it's progressively getting easier and easier because we were originally catching legendary Pokemon with like three Pokemon in the Pokedex. I mean, me gusta. Now, where are two, my boy? Don't cry. <laughs> Jordan, what if we have to sing Regigigas a uh, song? What is Regigigas theme song? I can play Careless Whispers. <laughs> it says here that Regigigas in Savannah is an afternoon slash dusk underground max Y 40. That's a lie. It is. So we'll figure this out later. Co what? Cosmog? It's behind me, dude. Do we need Latius? We have Latios, not Latius! Wait, I have a Leecher drone, but if I miss, it's kind of over. It's over. I got it! <laughs> You're kidding, <laughs> dude. Sick, dude. The game crashed! I missed this time. I got it. I'm gonna battle with it. Easy. Catch it. Don't crash the server. I got it. I got it. I got it. You already have Volcano on that. Yeah. Oh, I just fished up a super rod with my good rod. I'm a winner. Oh, oh Manaphy! Maybe we have to go down. Maybe it's once closer to the floor. Oh, well, everything on my map is blue. I don't see it deep. Scan the waters, Jordan. Scan the waters. Scanning. Jordan, it's not saying in deep lukewarm. I'm in deep lukewarm. It's got to be over near you. They're definitely under the water to some degree. Yes, I see it. They're in little crevices. I've got to get air real quick from the magma. Is that how you want to say it? Crevice? It's 
It's crevice. That's how it's spelled. That's how it, that's, that's how it sounds. That's how it's supposed to be. It's a crevice. It's not a crevasse. Look at that. It's a big old crevasse. <laughs> you, are you actually serious? I can't tell if you're actually serious. I'm serious. I'm not being serious. Dude, Google it and then <laughs> hit the little up. button that says it for you. It's crevice. I thought you were doing it to annoy me I'm all totally this time. Serious. But no, you just don't have the critical info. Let me listen. Hang tight. It says crevasse. <laughs> no, it doesn't. I'm classy and you don't understand. You, you, are you, are you fighting me, Jordan? on this first of all i caught manaphy in a great ball which is kind of insane <laughs> that's also a beautiful color pairing but let me also look up the word crevice okay now that sounds weird too but crevice Oh, I'm drowning, <laughs> but I got man feet. Jordan, I finally can put my ditto to good use with man feet and get a Fion. Jordan, I want to go ahead and get the breeding Fion out of the way because I'm pretty sure um, they changed it to be much more complicated and annoying. First things first, we got to go steal a ranch, but acquire a ranch block. Jordan, I finally found a village I've been to before that has a ranch block. So, uh, you know, I can talk to the guy and be like, hey, you want to buy one? And I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I would I would love to buy one. If this breaks, it'll give it to me, right? Yeah. You know, this seems kind of messed up. No, it's not. No, it is. No, what I'm doing is messed up. What are you? Oh no. So now that I have this daycare, I'm going back home. Jordan? Oh Yo. my goodness. What what happened? What? We have to bring it three skilt. What? The easiest way to get skewt is gonna be to take down Turtonator, Dreadnought, and other turtles. But what's skewt anyway? Think of it like turtle bits. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have leftover iron? Anyways, after organizing resources, we look and notice that the easiest way to get these turtles is to go back to ultra space. As wild as that sounds. Jordan, Jordan. Yo dog, what up? It's like a, it's a, it's a horde battle where there's Jordan on two choodles. I don't know if I'll get stuff for all of them though. There's one scoot. I got one scoot here. Okay, I what am I, what am I missing? Oh, I just have to hit confirm for all of them. And now I have to wait three hours. Three real hours? Three real hours, but to be fair, we're gonna be here for three more hours, so it's kind of fine. With that much time to spare, it's time for a jungle expedition. Jordan, you were supposed to find a modified jungle, not a bamboo forest, but uh... That's a modified jungle. It's a jungle that's modified to have bamboo. Now we spend time trying to find Kupfu and Mew, uh, but... Okay, so we figured out <laughs> the Kupfu spawns, but we figured out that <laughs> Mew might just not spawn in general. <laughs> like, it, it just might not spawn. It's a little bit awkward. <laughs> hey Jordan, guess what? I cut cup food. Now we gotta evolve it. We gotta get a scroll for that, but I haven't seen a single tower and we've been a lot of different places. Don't worry about cup food. I stumble into success. I'll be up much later in this video. Oh wait, this is something that's really important. Jordan, I need to go home. We might have to stay near this for it to actually work. Wait. That's not one ninth right there. We have to actually be near it. No. Jordan, do we just go ahead and go to the end? We do need to go to the nether, in fact, to get Reggie Drago on any man-made blocks. We should do that. The best nether portal you've ever seen in, in your life. Wait, doesn't it have to be man-made? Yeah, so we need blocks. It can spawn anywhere though here. So like, this should be incredibly easy. How foolish it is to call anything easy at this point. I see a bunch of possible spawns over here. Heatran. I didn't even think about Heatran. I didn't even know we could get there, you man. That makes me feel like a beautiful man. Okay. I'm getting a little desperate, but I, I I don't think Feather Ball is the play. I didn't really want to tell you this, man, until you're older, but Heatran doesn't actually have any feathers. <laughs> Not even how it works. Oh, I got Heatran. I didn't even know. It's because my, my face Ooh. was in my hands. Where's my Reggie Drago? Reggie Drago, Reggie, Reggie Drago. Drago. In another waste pile. Um, it's over here. Oh, I'm getting into a battle with it right now. Don't oh, it's only level 40. Why did it spawn? What? This is man made. I am really confused about why it spawned when it said it couldn't spawn this entire time. What did it spawn on? It's this ain't man-made. I didn't, did a man make this? I didn't make this. I'm not gonna ask questions that I don't need to ask at this point, okay? I caught Reggie Drago. Now that Drago's captured, we might as well start looking for Regilecki. And since we gotta find him in the end, we head to a warped forest to take down Abras and anything else that can give us ender pearls. The boss Atkins, man. Wait, wait! Wait, is that a shiny straight? That's a shiny, it's not even a boss! When we get back home, we're flabbergasted. The Fion egg is ready. Get get the egg and don't ask questions, Nick. Then I make an absurd discovery. Regigigas is in an ancient city downstairs, Hoopa's at a desert pyramid, Magirna's in a woodland mansion, and Typenol is at the stronghold. All 
these Pokemon that we can't get to appear spawn in structures. So first we head down to an ancient city to see if we can finally get Regigigas. Anyways, after wasting a bunch of time down there, it never spawned. But when we get to the surface, multiple Eternatus are spawning. We decide to take him out for funsies and you won't believe what they drop. Oh, it drops eyes of Enders, the Eternatus. Wait, so just take down Eternatus. <laughs> Once we have enough eyes, we take off for the stronghold. Our goal is to get Regilecki, but before we go to the end, we can get type null in this stronghold. It can spawn here during the night and dusk. And that's now. Anyways, like with Regigigas, nothing happens. We even put down some man-made blocks. So we cut our losses for now and go to the end. While Nick takes out the Ender Dragon, I waste time battling a boss Pokemon and get incredibly lucky. <laughs> oh, also Nick meets the cowboy. I just defeated a boss mini here and I got the Kupfu thing. I don't remember how it works, but try it. So we just get an Urshifu for free? That's fantastic. Do, do you see what I'm seeing here? This is one of my favorite things I've ever seen. We throw down man-made blocks and start waiting for Regilecki. It reminds me a lot of Regidragalo though, because nothing happens. So Nick wanders way further into the end, but nothing happens until he comes back right to where we started. It's still not Regilecki, but our egg's hatching. Yo, I did not expect that at all. Excited about his new Fion, Nick decides to check its IVs since it seems surprisingly strong, but right as he does. Oh, first of all, Regilecki here, right as I was checking IVs. This is perfect right on the end of the wood, dude. I really did not think this was going to work, man, because I've just been building and I'm like, this ain't going to work. <laughs> Nick swiftly catches Regilecki and then we return to the stronghold to keep seeking type no. So I can spawn at dusk, which is now, or nighttime, which is soon. I can spawn now or I can spawn later. It's very exciting. This is a stronghold, right? It's got us asking those questions now. <laughs> yeah, just like with Regigigas. Type Null just ain't happening. So we move on down the legendary list. Dude, Meloeta. It actually, it's actually right over here. That's fantastic. The one good thing is, is that it's gotten really easy to catch the legendaries, or at least some of them. I'm yeah. hoping this is another one that is easy. It wasn't. I'm just happy to find one too, because the well of legendaries seems to have dried up and boy, I'm thirsty. See, this is why we need like less poetry in the world. <laughs> it would seem like I've made the mistake of saying that it is easy to catch the legendaries now. <laughs> because it's seeming as if it is uh, not easy, actually. This reminds me, dude, of when, when we were discussing this challenge. Like, this will be hard, but this this shouldn't be too bad. <laughs> this will be super fun. This will be so fun. <laughs> I was so excited. I am excited, but you know, there's also more pain than I anticipated. I don't know about you, Joy, but I've, I felt mostly distressed <laughs> during this. Dude, I felt pain by day five. It got exasperated oh, by day 20. I critical capture, dude. That's the thing, Yo. though. I couldn't. I couldn't get those couldn't, before. Yeah. If I that was possible when we, you know, we're trying to catch Azelf, it would have eventually happened, you know? Yeah. Okay, so now, dude, at dusk and dawn, a Namorous can spawn here. So we probably just hang tight here and wait. Move. It's full moon. We need to go to a roofed forest for Cresselia. Except Cresselia is a very rare spawn. On top of, you know, it can only happen once every four days, anyways. And it is sunrise. So I think we're already doomed. We're going to have to wait at least four days to get Cresselia. Technically three. Are you developing contempt for everything? Like, me just you oh like contempt for you oh jordan i actually know i am angry about everything teleport to me look at this lucky block that i opened i'll be back in a second I'm gonna take a moment so many eyes of ender we don't need those anymore but we did we did need those. Fighting back tears of rage. We head to the jungle to get Mew. Not with particularly high hopes though, because we haven't had much luck with any of these structure spawns. Mew is supposed to spawn during daytime in the temple. Found a Grisidia. Wait, is that how I changed Shaman? And boom, that's pretty cool. How did I change him back? I don't know. After honestly way too much time, we give up on Mew just like Regigigas and Type Null. The structure spawns must be broken, but we gotta check. So we head to the next one on the list, Hoopa. And it also doesn't spawn. But while we're in the area, we finally find Landorus. They do spawn in the sky, to clarify. Isn't that cheating? It's Landorus. I know, what is with that? Oh, I caught Landorus, by the way. Next up on the list of structure Pokemon that don't spawn, Magearna. It's supposed to appear in this mansion, but it ain't. I am pretty confident that structure spawning Pokemon is just, it's just broken. Dude, it's, yeah. So with this version of Pixelmon, because yeah. they won't spawn no matter what. So what do now? Protest. And by that, Nick means hopping into that Config. Magirna, 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 Magirna spawn right bear, 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 bear. near. I found the Zacian that spawned. Where's the Magirna, Jordan? Oh well, another one spawned as well. So Jordan, I looked through the game files a huge amount, and I have determined that anything spawning in a structure 
seems to be bugged, number one. So yes. I've changed them from spawning in structures to not spawning in structures. Yes. And number two, Jordan, there aren't structures for Articuno and Arceus. Those don't exist in the game files. I could not find them. So we're going to catch every legend that we can and then deal with all of the shenanigans at the end of 100 days. There's a lot more problems than just the birds. To clarify, we're playing in an alpha version of 1.20 Pixelmon. Yeah. Because it added to new legendary Pokemon. I'm like, okay, if we're doing the legendary, thing we should do as many legendaries as we could but unfortunately these are the shortcomings we are going to have to deal with hey even bigger problem the reason we did this is for the new legendaries are we actually going to be able to get those to spawn also i caught magirna dude so we're rocking and rolling Jordan, i have no idea that's something we haven't <laughs> tried yet. Okay, I, you cut Magirna, that's okay. That's all we need. We're moving and grooving. But I don't know, man. I don't know. What is the next structure Pokemon we want to go to? Like, where do we get Regigigas now? Underground plains. But plains, we can get Type Null, but I think that's at night. So let's go and find a good plains biome. I think there's one right past here. I'm pretty sure I can hold out Blaze Powder. <laughs> yeah, now I can see. Hey, hey, Regigigas. Hey. Uh, I see it. Wait, is it shiny? It's shiny. On my map, it looks shiny. There's one that is shiny and one that's not shiny. So I think the one that is shiny is going to be a boss. Yeah, this <laughs> <laughs> it is a boss Regigigas, sure, and I can confirm because it is level 150. What if it's a real level 150 and you're just throwing away an opportunity? <laughs> Pretty confident I'm not, Jordan. Feels so good to actually see Regigigas. Yeah, dude. So Jordan, the spawn was definitely broken for Regigigas. Yeah, it was just like broken. Like 100%. Yeah. It's nighttime though, dude, so I'm gonna mine up to the surface because Sylvie can spawn here, right? In the surface at night. Yes, I forgot about that. Genius moves, Jordan. You catch that, man? I'll make it to the surface, which is Well, mine. I did. I did catch it. Hey, hey. Ho, ho. Hey, hey. What block level is the surface? Why not? go straight up we can't okay race you to the top then how did you go straight up you can build it's minecraft i totally forgot you can build i thought you were flying on eternatus all right man this <laughs> isn't my fault this is your fault and i was like eternatus won't fit in this tiny little cavern imagine forgetting that there are blocks in minecraft techno, hey, techno. Boom, boom, boom. oh Hello, he's right here. This is one that we need to get actually probably before now because we have to max out its happiness nearly. Because that's how Type Null evolves into Silverly. I also wonder if timer balls even work, Jordan, because the turn counter doesn't work and that's what the timer balls were based off of. <laughs> this is a scuffed legendary hunt. <laughs> Oh, yo, I'm gonna throw a level ball. Genius moves, Jordan. Yeah, I got it, dude. That actually worked straight up. Now that we successfully got Magirna, Regigigas, and Type Null, it's Hoopa time. Wait, Jordan, Hoopa just spawned. I shouldn't be surprised at this point because things should just work smoothly. And they are. And all we had to do was totally change the configs so that it works. And that also means that the last structure Pokemon is on the horizon. Mew, Mew has spawned in the sparse jungle, Jordan. You found it. The mythicals have been hard to catch, and this is a mythical level 70. Ooh, whoa, wow. Unless Mew doesn't count as a mythical anymore. I don't know when they reclassified. Yo, did Mew get reclassified? Is it a normal Pokemon now? Well, I caught Mew, Jordan. With Mew captured, it's time to go after the sequel. Let's go make a cloning machine, Jordan. We need some glass panes and three water buckets, okay? How do you feel about these glass panes? Eh? And I've got the cloner cord as well now, which is absolutely fantastic. Orange tank, we need two fossil machines, Jordan. All right, let me make a few more buckets. Sorry, there will be no more glass panes in this village. I need six water buckets. Yes, Jordan, which is water. kind of silly sound but it is what it is, you know? Oh, wait, we might need a significant more amount of obsidian. So, Jordan, we are missing three- one obsidian. We are missing one single obsidian. I'm not kidding. So where do you where do you want to do this cloning business? I'm gonna I'm gonna slap it right here, okay? Wait, there's a chance it fails, Jordan. And don't we need like iron blocks and stuff? Wait, oh I forgot about this. Oh So we need three iron gold or diamond blocks. Each giving a different chance that Mewtwo is successfully cloned. Because if we're unlucky, Mew will just be cloned into a ditto. Okay, let's see. I got two diamond blocks. I put them both in and now a gold. Okay, yeah. that seems to have worked. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. please, please give us Mewtwo. Dude, it's it's our high chance of being ditto i don't know if it's a high chance but there is a chance uh, how long does it take to process jordan and isn't there also a chance that the tank just explodes oh, oh, okay, me too. Me too. Me too. <laughs> okay and it, it does explode by the way oh thank goodness jordan <laughs> thank goodness <laughs> i just remembered and had all the trepidation of the many times we've captured this one before this has been painful in the past for us yeah dude i remember like you know like a 40 minute one hour episode we did of just capturing this bad boy <laughs> <laughs> How about you instead give me hope? Oh, you could do it. You've done it before. Thank you. Watch me catch it first, Ultra Bowl. Doubt. I also doubt. Wait. 
Wait. No. Wait. We got it, dude. Are, are you what? You hold my powers. I have a Mewtwo now, Jordan. Jordan, if it's the Waxing Crescent tonight, that means that we probably are going to be fine by tomorrow, okay? Yeah, then we'll get the Whining Gibbon. What are we talking about? We're talking about finally getting Cresselia. The moon is full, Nicholas, like my heart, full of hope. Don't have too much hope yet. No, I must, because we're getting close to day 100 next. Oh, so we have to, I see. After awaiting Cresselia's arrival for far too long, something crazy happened and I had nothing to do with it. And Cresselia appeared. Nick, while you were looking at the moon, look behind you. Look behind you, it's a croissant. A croissalia. Wow. I think that it was maybe bugged, but that's amazing that it happened to appear. It said, it said Terrakion spawned, but, but, but that's a croissant. It's the right condition, so we are catching it. Uh, it is what it is, boys. <laughs> I caught it in the Pokeball when I just was out of bounds and threw it once, Jordan. I what? am, I am angry. All right, you should be angry, but you should get more angry in that we're gonna head back to the end to get Deoxys, which is a Pokemon we forgot that is in the end. Yay! Wait, the end Highlands, Jordan? <laughs> it's very small. <laughs> is this it? Is it just this top area? Yeah. Then it will be the most easy to find a Deoxys. Actually, to find Deoxys, you gotta be way up in the sky, which makes sense when you realize he's an alien. Deoxys, hey right here, we finally figured it out. We just need to build up high. He's like, this looks just like my home world. Check this out, Nick. Boom. Dude, if you actually catch it in that, that would be nuts. I'm not gonna look, man. Check this out. Bada bing, bada boom. Wait. What? Wacky waving inflatable arms flailing tube man. They're not wrong. He's holding the meteorite too. Take that meteorite from him and then right click him with it. Whoa. Do it again, do it again. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Speed form, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you can, you can, you can stop now, man. Jordan, we keep doing donuts until Kyogre spawns. And then we did donuts forever because Kyogre never spawned. So we moved on to find Mesprit. This is the last lake guardian that we'll need. After catching Mesprit, we go for Jirashi because it's one that we know can spawn. All right, dude, before we find Jirashi, I'm actually gonna evolve type null. I have an XL candy and I'm gonna give it to him. <laughs> dude, Whoa. he leveled up so much right there. Nick, they said the Jirashi is the wishmaker from the movie, so maybe he can just give us the other legendaries, and this should have been the first one. Yeah, maybe got. we should have gotten Jirashi first and used that wish. Hey, hey, now we're cooking with peanut butter. Uh, Nick, it didn't say it. There's a boss Jirashi here. So, dude, I think it's the same spawn chance. We just got really unlucky. Well, hopefully it still counts as, like, the morning area, and so one could appear, you know? Hey, like that. Once Jirashi is captured, we look for Rayquaza. Because like Jirashi, we know it can spawn. But it must be glitched or something because we can't find it. So we cut our losses and head to the frozen forest in search of Calyrex. Oh, Calyrex did spawn. In front of me, dude. TP if you need to. Make sure to subscribe, by the way, to watch our next episode where we catch all legendary Pokemon, but we have to make sure they're shiny first. It's kind of fun that Glastrier spawns right next to Calyrex on average. But my Calyrex keeps using Mega Drain when it wakes up. Up. Dude, mine keeps using leech seed. Oh. <laughs> oh no, that's worse. It's okay, Jordan. You can defeat it. I've caught mine. One of the main reasons I wanted to make this video is because I wanted Chan Pao, but Chan Pao is undoubtedly just broken. It won't spawn even though it's supposed to spawn here. So I'm I'm, I'm going to spawn in. Okay, this is the Pokemon I'm spawning in. Chan Pao. Little cat. That's not a cat. That's a... What, a weasel and mongoose? That's a weasel, yeah. That's a Nurmine. Oh, wow. I really thought I was going to say Chan Pao spawned. Like, <laughs> Imagine if one finally did. But this is one of the seemingly many Pokemon that appear to be broken in this version of Pixelmon and it won't spawn, but Jordan, I, I captured the Chan Pao. All right, so we tried our best, but I think at day 95, it's time for us to concede defeat. And one of the main reasons is because a lot of the Pokemon that we have yet to get are not possible to get in this version of Pixelmon, even <laughs> if they were supposed to be. So we're yeah. still going to get them. Yeah. It just won't yeah. be the legit way because currently I don't think there are legit ways. But before before that, yeah. we'll get the ones that are supposed to spawn naturally, but just haven't. Namely, Kyogre and Anamorous. And Thunderous and Tornadus. But the issue with that is that it won't rain in this world. Yeah. I even tried setting it yeah. afterwards, <laughs> no, <he> <laughs> after we gave up. <laughs> Yeah, and yeah, yeah. it won't rain or storm at all. And that is necessary for those Pokemon. But Jordan, let's go make it happen anyways. Why is it going to the bottom of the ocean? Do you see that? Because that's where it's supposed to spawn, oh. actually. <laughs> but it didn't. I mean, it looks cool. <laughs> okay, let me get into a battle with it and get this Kyogre. Your favorite legendary? 
I love Kyogre. I thought your favorite was like Wobbuffet. No, once I found out Clefki wasn't a legendary, Kyogre became my favorite. I caught it. I think it was Critical Capture, actually. On to the next one. Oh, okay. It's getting away. Okay, I can <laughs> do a battle. Yeah, wow. It's a little bit easier when you're the one spawning it, Jordan. <laughs> Isn't this thing supposed to be a turtle? <laughs> it's not a turtle, man. Well, which one's a turtle? They're not. One of them is a, is a little turtle. Well, I keep catching the turtle. Nick moves on to Thunderous. So the way that you are actually intended to catch this, we mentioned it though. They spawn in planes, I think only when raining. Storming. No, no, it only spawns in rain, but it it's only two spawns times. in rain, but it's two times in rain, yes. Or in a storm, rather. Oh, I took down Thunderous in one hit. Okay, I need to start tryharding again. <laughs> We've decided to cheat and we still lose. <laughs> wow, I caught Thunderous. Let's go. Good job. But why are the weird little pseudo legendaries the hardest to catch? This is giving me Azelf vibes. Did Iron Head? Iron Head killed it. I took mine down too. <laughs> <laughs> one for you, one for me. Mm -hmm. All right, Nick, I'm going to get it this time. Check this out, dude. Is that Jordan, that's a Master Ball. No, pan the camera up. Okay. I got it, dude. Don't look at the achievement. <laughs> you know, I caught mine as well, right? Wait, did you actually? No, no, I didn't. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Have you captured Tornadus yet? No, it's only going to start spawning now. Like, right now. <laughs> I caught it with the first great ball, Jordan. Nice. Also, dude. I have a thought that I need to very quickly double check, okay? I used the move Rain Dance to make it to, you know, rain in this. Yeah. Um, it doesn't work. Well, on to Chiyu. So Chiyu is supposed to spawn in lava pits at Y level over, I believe it's 100 in the Mesa biome, but uh, it, it just, it doesn't. We've tested it out big time. As far as we understand, it it just won't. So Jordan, you gonna, you gonna spawn it in there? Goldfish! That is a big goldfish, Jordan. What type is Chiyu? Is it like fire and water? I bet it's gonna be fish type. Dude, ah, it'd be so cool to be the first fish type because the game hasn't had any other fish types, you know? This Pokemon is sick, what? Three, two, one. Wow, Rayquaza. Hey, you finally got it. Okay, that was only a little bit painful, you know? Okay, Nick, so I put the title bell here. We did not find it naturally, but we still want to get Lugia because it is a legendary. Okay, well, let's go ahead and go to sleep for the night then and hopefully it will spawn. Hopefully it go ding ding. I don't know why I said that. That was the dumbest thing I could have said. Okay, Jordan, is it is it freaking out? It is uh, not. So uh Okay, so it's ooh, day, day 98. <laughs> close. Okay, well let's go catch some more legends. So Jordan, I'm going to go and try to get Zygarde. I'll grab the cube, and now everything just appeared for me. Okay. So I, I need to just take everything in and then is that enough i have three options assembly assembly with zygarde and separation i think it's assembly yeah you do not have enough jordan do you have more cells and that should be enough okay jordan i should have the dog zygarde was just sent to my pc that's how it works oh yeah is it the puppy dog because i love that one yep level 30 10 percent form now i'm going to destroy this machine because okay oh wow it's right. just the buggiest thing i've ever seen nearly <laughs> we never end up finding one of these things here but these can spawn in forests anywhere literally anywhere i even turned up the rates for them to spawn and we never once found one this is what we need a gs ball for you find them in either desert pyramids or there's a specific quest that you can do with kurt which any npc can just randomly become kurt it's kind of <laughs> I interesting i am kurt today it is my day to be Kurt. So Jordan, <laughs> hand over the GS ball you grabbed. Oh, yep. This will be a clean cut. No cuts here. <laughs> oh, thanks, Jordan. No probs, man. And all you do yep. is you just right click it and you get it just like that. The only issue I have with this, Jordan, is you don't keep the GS ball. Like you would need two if you actually want to catch Selby in yeah. it, which I think would be really, really cool. Oh, hey, wait, I have I have a solution. <laughs> you just would have to go to more pyramids, but that like that's feasible. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, and that's know. what we did. <laughs> You can also Nick, use this unit as well as I think maybe the GS ball. I have to look up how you do it to get pointy ear Pichu. Like the little, it's like a little variation of Pichu. That is very cool. Selby is annoying to catch, Jordan. D did you not throw the GS ball? I'm doing it right now. Jordan, GS ball is just a normal Pokeball. I want, I want you to know that. I did catch it though. It's the Park Ball that always works, right? Test it out right now, Jordan. Park Ball is 100%. GS ball is the one that isn't, Jordan. So spawn another Mewtwo. Have I been wrong all these years too? It broke free. Exactly. How did you catch? It's Selby in it. That's awesome. I've explained this to so many people at this point, Jordan. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. Including you. Including me. <laughs> Anyways, next legendary. Okay, Jordan, let's go ahead and knock out the birds, okay? And then we'll probably end with Arceus, which is one that we uh, we didn't find this because I don't think it naturally spawns into the world anymore, just like the rest of Spear Pillar and these, yeah. which is really awkward. 
but it is what it is. But we did get all the plates at least. That we did, and we did it in a very intriguing way. Ah! What? What is going on here, Pixelmondra? Do you see anything that I'm seeing? Oh, no, no, no. You see, this is very normal. This is your... This is a problem with your cornea, I think. Right? Oh, it's my eyeballs. It's not the game. Okay, I see. Give me the next orb. Oh, those are massive. Why are those so massive? I have no idea. Wait. I'm... What is going on? What is... I'm having more graphical issues as well. Articuno time. Okay, I'll get Zapdos while you get that then, dude. Powering through the weird graphics, we catch our birds. Then we move on to catch their Galarian forms. The way you're supposed to get them, from my understanding, it was not clear online, Jordan. True. Is that you would randomly get quests from people. Mm -hmm. It's a red quest and they'd be like, eh, go get the Galarian bird. And then just during that time, they could just spawn. That would have been cool. But since it didn't happen, we're going to spawn them in and catch them here. This Articuno. No, looks evil. I mean, all the Galarian birds, they all look a little bit evil. Moltres is one of my favorites of it. What is going on with my screen? What, you okay? All we have to get left is Lugia and all these fellas over here and, and here. So Jordan, what I'm gonna do is, I think we should go ahead and go to sleep and hopefully Lugia will spawn here. Wait, Jordan, I have genius idea. We put what? down more bells. <laughs> oh, that's quite wise, isn't it? We want to make sure we get it right. Yeah. What if they all ring? Then our game will crash. We're going to crash the server 100%. But that's a pretty good end of the show as well. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't think I'm going to put any more down. I, I think this should be fine. Have it your way. Stop. Please, turn. Please. <laughs> okay. okay. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I think we start with Dialga, right? I like Dialga. Boom. Add him in orb. It needs the red chain, which I'll show you how you make the red chain. You need the rubies. So what you do, Jordan, is do we have any rubies mined? What it is, is you have to level up each of the trio to level 60. And then you right click them with a ruby and you get a ruby of willpower or emotion or whatever. And it lowers the, the late guardians level back down to 50, I think. I believe that's what it is. Strange. Okay. You have to do that three times, Jordan, for each of the orbs. That's really difficult. We could have done it, but we didn't. Boy, it looks cool, though. I will say it looks cool. Is it following me? No, it's just a circle here. And then it's gonna probably Whoa. just, you know, rise up from the ground. Which one is this? This is uh, Dialga. Why you look so evil, Dialga? They did a cutscene to where Dialga's like, I hate Mondays. <laughs> and then he pops out of the ground. You know what I mean? I'm glad you don't work at Pixel One. <laughs> Oh, I critical captured it with nice. the timer ball. So wait, Jordan, I'm gonna do something that could be bad for the server. Uh huh. I'm I'm using the red chains on all of these oh, so that oh, they're all oh, ready. Oh, ah, Nicholas, what have you done? It's like a mosh pit. So we get rocking and catch these legends. But I also bring up a rather pressing issue. Dude, if we take long enough, Nick, to catch these things, <laughs> the Belugias will all spawn <laughs> and they'll just start flying away. <laughs> Jordan, I, I don't want that to happen. Did did, did I get it? Did did I? I got, I got it, Jordan. Yay! Good work, you, you, you gonna catch your Pokemon yet? Can you not get it lower? I guess you can't use Fall Swipe, can you? I kind of can't actually get it any lower. So I'm just gonna throw some Pokeballs and just kind of assume it'll work. Okay. Before Armageddon Lugia appears. We yearn for chaos at this point. <laughs> you got it. I got it! Jordan, all we need is my dogs to be barking and you'll catch the Pokemon yeah. easy. All right, Nicholas. It's the night before Lugia Armageddon. Are you Jordan, ready? I'm scared. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, um, oh, oh, they're all glowing. Every single wait one of them is glowing. Wait a minute. Jordan, I may have one. read that the more bells you have, the more chance it raises. I don't know if there's going to be a billion Lugias. There's a chance there's a billion Lugias and we might have to fight our way out. Wait, when it reaches dusk, they spawn, dude. Okay, we might need to go ahead and get Arceus then. <laughs> Nicholas, they're all gonna, <laughs> they're all gonna attack. <laughs> Get the light show rocking. There's the dread plate, Draco plate, mind plate. Wait, which one are we missing? Wait, is the normal plate a real thing? Wait, apparently it's a real thing. Do you want to catch it? I found one in creative mode. You found one, cool. Is that real? I don't, I've never heard of this. Well, zero plates remain, Jordan, so it should be doing something, right? Zero, zero plates remain. Can, can you work? Here, Nick, catch. It looks like a coral reef. It does, it always has. And okay. I was imagining when that happened, dude, like 80s rock and roll, just running hard, you know? What do you mean it was? I just need to catch this before dusk. <laughs> Jordan, I'm yeah. terrified of dusk. Dude, I if, if dusk, dude, if Lugia does crash the game, I still consider this like the end of the video. Oh, I mean, it would be. It would have to be. Four rolls, Jordan, just like that. I got Arceus. Let me go and slap that into my party. And against Lugia, I think I'll give it like the spooky plate or something, you know? Spooky? W w are you sure the treasury can spare such an expense? <laughs> I know, Jordan, I know. 
It's such a rare play. Oh yeah, let me let me buy some Pokeballs with my large amount of money as well. <laughs> the way you said that sounded like somebody was like faking that they had money. I'm rich. I would like to purchase one of each of this store's items for I am very wealthy. <laughs> I really like the idea of walking into like a big superstore, right? Like a Walmart or something and being like, I would like one of everything. <laughs> <laughs> they, they just have to, like, what of everything? That'd be insane. Oh, I'm annoying, Mr. Beast. I don't buy out the store. I buy one of everything. <laughs> oh, Jordan, Jordan, brace for impact, okay? No, don't Embra get too close to me. Oh, I thought you were saying embrace. Oh, it oh, says sunset. sunset. That's sunset. Are they flying in? I don't see them on map. I don't see them either. Are they flying in? We see, like, this fleet. <laughs> That's what I'm expecting, man. Get ready to spam Pokeballs, because if one of them catches, even if it crashes, we win. <laughs> This is the new game. It's a horror survival, okay? What if one of them is shiny? What if worse yet, they don't spot? <laughs> I'm actually scared, man. Dude, I'm kind of worried, man. I wasn't worried until just now, and now I kind of feel like I've made a mistake. I threw oh! 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 oh it it's did get one. laggy for a moment, Wait. but it, well, Wait, Jordan, it's only one. one that we see right now while we're within the battle. Yeah, you're right, dude. I might leave the battle just to see what's going on, okay? If you want to, if it crashes, I'm going to be quite upset with you, though. I couldn't escape. I'm I've got I've got <gasps> Are there Lugias yeah. everywhere? <laughs> There might be. I think I got it, by the way. Yeah, I got no, it. You didn't. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. I caught Lugia. So is there a shiny Lugia anywhere? All the ones in the shop, Jordan. Oh, be, oh they're going to die, dude. Yeah, you <laughs> bet they are. They're everywhere. There's tiny Lugias. There's big Lugias. This is actually insane. This is actually one of the most fun conclusions to this that I could not have predicted from the start. You know? Did any get in like houses? Are there ones upstairs in here? Yes, kind of. This town is the greatest importer and exporter of Lugias. Wow. Well, thanks for watching. See you next time, dudes. Bye-bye.